welcome to my channel so glad you stopped by and today we are going to be moving me and organizing my brand new um, crafting area in my home originally the room that was my craft room slash office was at the front of the basement but now I'm moving to the back where it used to be my toy storage area. I will have videos of all the basement organization linked in the description box so that way you can see what this used to look like and what I used it for. So the first thing that I start doing is taking everything off of especially this shelf because I will be moving this shelf out and moving a smaller shelf in. I used to use this, like I said, for toy storage area and then slowly I have been getting rid of the toys uh, for past, I would say, two months and then uh, I was just adding random things onto these shelves as I was um, cleaning the basement and whatnot and it just became a dumping ground for everything and I wanted to move my craft room from the front of the basement so that way that area will be used for something else and my office will be moved over to the what the, the playroom used to be so if this is your first time stopping by i used to run a home daycare and i am officially done so i am changing out some of these spaces and utilizing them for other things this video is also part of a collaboration hosted by um, Heidi from Heidi Sample Home and Leonab from Beauty on Purpose at Home. I will have both of their channels linked in the description box as well as the playlist so that way you can check all those things out when you are finished watching my video. So when that shelf was empty, I moved it out, cleaned behind it, and now I moved on to working on these shelves. And I will be using my middle shelf for all of my craft uh, supplies, storage, uh, things like wood uh, craft supplies, metal craft supplies, glass craft supplies, just so I have it all separated and that way I can see where everything is. This was a big job and trying to figure out where everything is going to go. As you can see, I already moved the smaller shelf that I want over here and this one had some stuff on it as well. So I will um, be moving that off and using this shelf for my um, everyday decor that I'm not using at the time. And that's what I'm going to be using the two long shelves along the wall as well. Just vases, tear trays, um, little elements for, for tear trays, and just, uh, like I said, things that I use at any season. If you're stopping by my channel for the very first time and coming over from the playlist, welcome. My name is Sonia and this is my home channel where I t share tons of um, decorating, organizing um, and cleaning motivation on this channel. I also have a DIY channel and a cooking channel and you might be coming from the DIY channel because I create tons of DIY, home decor DIYs over on that channel. So like I said, if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I would love it if you consider becoming part of my YouTube family by pressing that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. Say what you gotta say, say, what you say. say. 
reason why I wanted to have this shelf with all this um, decor uh, pieces because I, tend, I used to put them in bins and sometimes even with seasonal stuff that I was using it for at the time and I found that I wasn't using some of them as often as I could or I would forget that I had them because they were buried into um, into a bin and this way they're going to be out and when I'm redecorating for seasons or just adding new new decor anywhere I have all of it on display and I can see where I can kind of shop my home for decorating. This um, first shelf I thought I use for all of my DIYs that I have um, created over the years and no longer use or they had you know fallen apart or broken or whatnot and I can reuse the materials for new ones so I want wanted to have a shelf where I can place all of this on so that way uh, when I'm planning and deciding what I'm going to create I can see where, what I have and what I can pull from before I go to the store and buy new supplies there's still a lot of work to do here i'm going to empty this shelf and move it over here so let me i took out all the garbage so this pile to the left is all donations and then these are just empty bins that i'm working with um and then i just have to go through those two bins and um sort things out as well as all of these bins but this room is looking much better i have added stuff to it i will go all over where what's what once i am done but i want to put that shelf hopefully it will go right in here and then um, uh, start slowly moving other stuff over here it's just really hard to angle the camera in here when I'm moving furniture, I'm so worried I'm going to knock it over. Move the furniture over this way. I still have to deal with that mess, but that will be a project on its own. I will be redoing that room completely, and that's where, where all of this is going to go. Um, so I don't want to deal with that quite yet. And then let me show you, just wanted to show you how far I got here. So I've got still to deal with this so we can actually get to the fridge and then here this I have to sort and then a lot of it has to go into the fruit cellar anyways and then this room is almost where I want it to be. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all these rags because I do use rags for wiping, for painting and all that stuff. I want to get a tablecloth. I'm thinking white but I'm still gonna be putting stuff down uh, for when I'm doing the DIY so that but I put all my wood stuff there I got my lights I have to bring the other light that's over there over here and so and then I'm once I'm completely done I'll give you a little bit of a tour just to kind of show you what everything where everything is oh yeah and I moved the shelf here and I put all my paints up top and then these are all my buckets that I had on that shelf that I organized my DIYs in. All right so now it's time for the big reveal. I will only be showing you the craft room and here it is. It is my craft room decor storage area. I also have some seasonal storage here. So this will all be seasonal. One day I shall have everything color coordinated, but at this time I work with what I have. And then over here is where I create uh, DIYs and some other videos. I will be also doing my cooking menu planning videos here and some other stuff for my vlogging channel, which I have completely neglected in a past uh, month or so but this is all been you know work in progress because I feel like today is a start of uh, something 
new and exciting so i'm hoping to bring you that energy to all my videos that i create so anyways coming into this room uh, i'm going to start over on the right side i have purchased these hangers they click onto each other at dollarama they are supposed to be over the door purse hangers and they work quite well for my wreaths as you can see i have several wreaths on here uh, and then i also have tons of wreaths over there and i also have a friend that came to see me i think the other one is coming as well um he's gonna be here i think in about a minute there he is they're my uh always where i am that's where they are so it makes this place a little tight as you can see <laughs> and stop it stop it um the big guy just had a surgery and the little guy likes to sniff his private parts where his surgery was so anyways uh, so over on this shelf, I'm just going to move myself into here. I have kind of tried to uh, arrange it by like items. So I have my candelabras and my vases and um, a birdcage and a basket here. Then I have my uh, wood boxes and a galvanized tray here with along with some more like uh, pots and candle holders and vases then down here i have all of these are wood signs and then i have candles some lighting stuff let me see if i can get you some light in here i think that's much better now so i have uh, candles just odd and odds and ends then i have like a little tea lights battery operated some twinkling lights and then over here is my are my vase fillers or their tray fillers then some more vases and trays down below i have my ring light over here some big signs coming over here and then i just have a reindeer hiding there because i couldn't i didn't want to take apart my boxes to add it to the christmas decor so then i'm just gonna turn the light so i can give you a bit more light here so here i just placed everything it doesn't really have rhyme and reason and i was supposed to uh get rid of these because this used to be my toy storage area and i have so many bins see on this side it says transportation and occupation so but this just has all the like little coastal stuff and then this has like i said there's no really rhyme and reason as to what's in here but these are the co decorations like the core home, home decor pieces that i am using throughout so i might use it in summer spring uh fall winter like it's one of those that i, I kind of interchange so they don't i don't want to store them into my um seasonal bins because then i have to take them apart to look for a piece so that's what i'm planning on doing over here just pieces that um i can pull from and decorate um all throughout the year and then down here uh, that box contains all the um like floral odds and ends florals then i have my um birch sticks that i use quite a bit throughout my decor then there are some um mats for the front door and then signs and things that i use in a house so like the old sleigh for the for decorating the front porch and then like i said just different signs that i have made there's some gift wrapping over there some shelves that i'm planning on putting out in my other room uh, they were in that room but since i was changing it around it no longer works so that's there and then the little hardware for for them is over there as well and then this shelf i labeled do-overs so over here i just keep things that maybe i've broken that i've made or things that i no longer 
uh, is fitting for my decor style but I can re remake them into something else so that's that shelf right there and then I'm going to ooh, move over here and these are my supplies that I pull from whenever I'm creating anything. I did not label this one because I just don't know what to label this one as. But so I have galvanized pieces, miscellaneous, floral, wood, wood shapes, uh, frames, glass, um, stone, and foam. And then up top, I have some decals. That's a, a basket full of fabric. I have actually several baskets full of fabric. This is pillow stuffing. And then I have all of these. They are just ads and ends like from vinyl and just some from posters and things like that. And I thought, you never know, I might use that for something. And then I have all my Christmas floral, floral that I can DIY with that's in that bin. And then that's Christmas fabric, fall fabric. And this is just, um, my disney cruising stuff i decorate my door whenever we go on a disney cruise and that's all that's in there it's i have to label it but i had nowhere to put it so i just plopped it on a shelf there and then i have my seasonal shelf here so i have my easter and then i have my valentine's a very small basket and then i have my ribbons again i have to relabel these and then I also have all of these mini pine cones here. Christmas, fall, more Christmas, more Christmas, because Christmas in July is coming. So I have it all. I pulled it all out and sorted it. So it's ready to go. And then if you watched my craft room organization in January, which I will link in the description box. It used to be in a different spot. I had this shelf there. So uh, the the dated, because I post three DIYs a week. So I like to organize myself two weeks at a time and I will place all the things that I'm making in those bins. So like for my Sunday DIYs, I like to have all the supplies in my Sunday bin, including paint or anything that I might use for that day. So that's that. And then I have just some camera supplies, more ribbon, more of a ribbon, like an everyday ribbon. And I also have a cu cutting mat there. And then those are more florals, but now since I have a full box, I might move that over there. Then I have, again, miscellaneous things um, in there. So that, that can also go up into the other bin. And then I have my ropes and some of my glues. I also have glue box bin here on the table. And then the bottom is just scrapbooking stuff that I really haven't scrapbooked in a long time, but I keep it there just in case, because it's all my kids' stuff. My my kids' school pictures and all that stuff is all in there. So, And then, like I said, I have my paint on top here. Now, this is only acrylic paint. I have a different storage for uh, chalk paint because my my big chalk paints I have small chalk paints here but the big chalk paints I w most likely won't be painting any furniture in this space because it's not big enough so I just keep it in a space that I know I have plenty of room to paint so this is just my acrylic paints my spray paints my solar flowers um, I have to relabel that obviously and then my little DIY till I die cup that I got from a friend for Christmas so like I said and the reason why I haven't relabeled these because I need to make more labels they didn't have them at the dollar store when I went today so I need to make some um, but my Cricut machine um because I like I said I'm removing all that stuff so it's unplugged and it had the, the, it's not just sitting on the table piled up with other stuff. So I'm hoping to get all that done by next week. So uh, we'll see. But I will probably be making just the same labels as those. And then this is my paint, uh, paint brushes, my markers, 
more markers and stuff like that and then i have my tape just over here uh, and then in here move that out of the way so this is just things for for painting and then i have some uh, a stapler here and then this is just odds and ends really like a junk drawer always need one of those as well and then i added this here but i haven't really utilized this i'm not sure what i'm gonna use it for i added some sewing needles here some bags these are elastics, extra roll of tape, just things like that. Like I said, I haven't really utilized this. And uh, this is just kind of to remember my... I have more pictures. I want to cover this whole thing with pictures just from my uh, previous career kind of thing. And then over here is... This, a lot of this stuff was left over from daycare. So I am just, I just kept stuff that I, I think I might need. So I kept the same bins and stuff like that for it. So I have um, just like straws. So this is actually supposed to be this way. Uh, and then I have cotton balls. There's a couple extra paints here and these masking tapes. I don't use these masking base, uh, tapes for anything other than actually taping something with the masking tape. Then popsicle sticks, feathers, sponges, rocks, and then just, I have googly eyes. I don't think I'm going to craft anything with googly eyes, but I'm keeping them anyways. I do have lots of nieces and nephews, so I can always use that for that stickers buttons uh, uh glitter and then these bowls i have so many so i just kept those these is like pretty much what it says and then these are beads and straws and uh, all sorts of stuff and then foam pipe cleaners and then just paper bags and then i also down here have I don't think I'll ever use these, but I'm just keeping them. So I have them in this shape, and then I have them in these shapes. And I have a, I have a lot. So <laughs> that's that. Uh, and then tissue paper and some felt. Okay, so I think this sums it up. Um, and oh, I forgot to mention what underneath. I have more fabric underneath. Garbage can. This is stuff that needs to go for a wash. I have my apron here, and then my um, this is just extra towels and rags if I'm that I need. And then over here, I have my glue sticks. My this is not supposed to be there, but all my cutting supplies there, and then I have my drink. If you haven't tried this, you should. It tastes delicious. And then I just have more tools here. This is my pencil, my uh, stirring stick, extra scissors. I have my paint can opener here. And then I have, I always, because I don't have water here, so I always have a water bottle filled with water. I refill this all the time just so I can add it. And if I need it for crafting or if I need to soak my uh, paint brushes in. Then I have my water spray bottle, hand cream. You always need hand cream. Then extra scissors and extra glue. And then I have my hot glue stuff here and a little broom just to clean the table off. This is just for when I'm doing planning uh, videos. And uh, so I just have actually just made this. I bought these tiles at Dollarama and glue them onto the foam board as my backdrop so that's it now i hope you have enjoyed this craft tour like i said it's not pretty but it is functional i have made a couple diys in it already and i love that i don't have too many distractions in here when i come in i do my job and i leave i also like to uh, I'll play YouTube videos on there when I'm crafting or play music. 
Um, and like I said, it's my little dungeon, but I love it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think I should add something, change something. I would love to know your opinions down in a comment. And I would like to thank Heidi and Leonab for hosting this um, collab challenge. Um, it definitely uh, gave me more motivation to get it done so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching don't forget to press the subscribe button if you're not and if you're returning i appreciate you more than the words can say so until next time see you later thanks for watching